Welcome to my review guide for my CEH V9. Here we're dealing with questions 16 through 20. First thing we have to under do, uh, understand is the different types of an attack. What is a rainbow attack? What is a brute force attack? What is a dictionary attack? A dictionary attack goes after words. You can have a, a list or a dictionary of predefined words that you try. A brute force will be trying multiple combinations, it tries to brute force it. A rainbow or a rainbow attack or a rainbow table is, is a combination of a dictionary um, with pre-calculated hashes. What ends up happening is a rainbow is more like a lookup. A rainbow could have a lot of predefined hashes and as you're trying to break the password you probably have the hash of the password. So you start comparing the hash of the password you're trying to break to a known list of password hashes and that allows you to gain access. Barely does not want to change slides. Alright, there we go. How can you verify the integrity of a document? You send a document to a colleague. How can you make sure that they received your document that's non-modified? And typically you can do that by creating a hash value and then sending the hash value also. Here's the document, here's the hash value. They can use a hash calculator to verify the authenticity of that document. Form validation. Uh, I've been doing Security Plus for the last several weeks and we've been having in-depth conversations about form validation. Form validation helps prevent cross-scripting by not allowing certain types of code to be ran in an input box. What that means is, I may have a username input box and I'm expecting an email address. Well, I can use like CSS form validation to actually validate that what you input is an email address, alias at domain dot extension. If you put anything other than that type of structure, I say no. That way, you cannot put any code in there because it only allows you to put the code or to put what I want you to put in there because I'll validate it. If it's not valid, it's not ran. Just like if I want you to put a phone number in there, I'll put maybe like a label next to it that says country code space zip space seven digit phone number or I'll, I'll give some type of input box that will show you the structure that I want but that way I'll only accept that structure because I may want a country code I may not want a country code so I want to let the end user know hey this is what I'm looking for this is the syntax that I'm looking for no dashes dashes so forth all right AES versus RSA. The big one here is AES is symmetric, RSA is asymmetric. RSA uses a separate public and private key. AES uses one key for both. So when it says, what's the difference between AES and RSA? AES is symmetric. RSA is not symmetric, it is asymmetrical. Alright, last big one is differences between the compliances. HIPAA, health, uh, PCI is like payment card, credit cards, debit cards. COBIT is a framework that you typically would be using when implementing like SOCs. And lastly is FISMA.